And now how to find the shaded area for the machine part question. In this question, you're given a diagram for a part made by an engineer. And uh, you need to look at this diagram and figure out the area of the shaded region. The shaded region represents the part. OK, so we've got all these dimensions. We've got 2 feet here, 6 feet here, 6 feet here, and so on. Okay, well, you notice that the figure was made up of triangles and rectangles. Our, our mathematics reference sheet for FCAT helps us find the area for triangles and the area for rectangles. It's spelled out for us right there. Okay, so back to our figure. It's made up of a bunch of rectangles and triangles. Down here I see a triangle. Right here I see a rectangle. And then up here, I see another rectangle, but but there was this little slot right in here, this little part that's kind of cutting into it. That's another triangle, so we'll wind up actually subtracting that triangle part from the area, since that's actually uh, not being used. Okay, so we had a triangle, a rectangle, another rectangle, but then we'd have to subtract this triangle from that rectangle area. So it's not that bad once you look at it. It's broken down into triangles and rectangles. So we know how to find the area for triangles and rectangles. Uh, we'll call this triangle A right here. This triangle, we'll call that triangle A. We'll call this rectangle B. We'll call this rectangle C. But then don't forget this little extra triangle here that's going to be subtracted later. We'll call that triangle D. So we got triangle A, rectangle B, rectangle C, and triangle D. What do we know from our diagram? Triangle A has a base of 2 and a height of 3. Right? The base would be like the bottom side of the, of the triangle, and the height is how tall the triangle would be. It would be 3. From here to here would be 2. I know that because I can see over here, this from, from this part, this part is 2. But how do I know this is 3 again? Well, it's, not, it's kind of being covered up right now, but go back to our original diagram. We get this little uh, indicator here that we're 3 feet wide at this part of the diagram. So I know that this, this triangle would be three feet tall. Okay, rectangle B, easily enough then, it's going to have a, a length of two and a width of three. Just like this triangle here has a height of three. Okay, up here to triangle to rectangle C, we have a length of two, length of two and a width of six. Alright, and then back to tri to triangle D right here, that's going to have to be subtracted, remember. It has a base of 2, right? The bottom side of it would be 2. And from here to, the, to there, that's the height of the triangle. It would be a height of 3. It would be a height of 3 because from here to here is 6. But from here to here is only 3. So, so it really goes um, 6 minus 3, which would be 3 feet. Okay? All right. So we know... We've got triangles and rectangles to deal with. I know the dimensions for all my triangles and rectangles. What I'll do is to get an area for triangles, I'll do one half the base times the height. For example, this triangle right here would be one half two times three. One half two times three. So that'd be actually uh, three, I believe, right? Absolutely. Because two times three is six. Right? Two times three is six, and one half of that would be three. Okay, so we use one half the base times the height to get triangle areas. We use length times width to get rectangle areas. So this right here, this, this rectangle B, for example, is 2 long by 3 wide, so that'd be 6. So I got 3 for triangle A, I, I got 6 for triangle B, and then so on. I'm going to figure out the area of rectangle C. But then don't forget, though, this, this, uh, this triangle D here, we're going to add all the areas together. But we have to subtract the area for triangle D, right, because triangle D represents the part that was kind of cutting into that rectangle. So we know we have like a 6 by 2 rectangle, for example, right here. But that triangle right there was cut into that. So you've got the plan now. You know you've got triangles and rectangles. You know how to find the area for triangles and rectangles. And you know the dimensions. Add them all together. And again, they'll subtract the area for triangle D because it's not part of the shaped area. Good luck.